this is Ben Maiden. Uh, I'm reporting live from the uh, Corporate Governance Awards and the red carpet. Uh, with me, I have Ki Hoon Kim from Hewlett Packard Enterprises. Um, Enterprise, sorry. There are so many enterprises at HP, you never know. Uh, so, HP tonight is nominated for Best AGM, Best, yes, best Use of Technology, Best ESG Reporting for in the Small and Mid Cap Group, uh, Best Shareholder Engagement from the Small and Mid Cap Group, and Governance Team of the Year from the Small and Mid Cap Group. Uh, it's quite a haul. Now, I know this is uh, your first time at the Corporate Governance Awards. Anything in particular you're looking forward to other than winning, hopefully? <laughs> Uh, yeah, certainly looking forward to you know hearing uh, you know all of the great great peer companies that uh, you know about their best practices. You know we uh, obviously want to be on the cutting edge uh, of, of all of these areas and remain on the cutting edge. And so uh, really eager to hear what other companies are doing to to stay in front of these issues, especially with a lot of regulatory changes coming. Um, and you know looking forward to collaborating and building on these great ideas. That's what it's all about, hopefully. Um, now HP as uh, every year. Uh, as you can has heard, is obviously nominated in a variety of categories. Um, just in general, if possible, what do you attribute to the sort of um, the success of governance that the company to? Is there is there a particular driving force behind that? Yeah, I think just you know us as a as a legal department, we work really really closely with uh, with you know various internal stakeholders to make sure that we're really all aligned on what the priorities are, um, what the leadership needs to know, and um, really making sure that we inform the board of everything that they need to know to really equip them with the information uh, to lead us in the proper direction. And so uh, it's it's I think internal communication, and I think it really starts from the top. The top really emphasizes good governance, uh, making sure that we do everything uh, in a proper and um, judicious and strategic manner. And so, you know, I think that messaging and prioritization at the top trickles down throughout the entire organization. Um, you know, and you know, it, it goes without saying that, that all of these efforts are supported by great team members, uh, not only within my team, but all, you know, throughout the company. Okay. And uh, shareholder engagement feels like in the wind, feels like it's going to be quite a big deal for, right. for many companies in 2023, particularly around stay on pay mm -hmm. uh, in light of economic conditions and right. regulatory changes and so forth. Um, uh, how can governance teams just generally try and prepare their board uh, for, for that, potentially a lot more sort of uh, demands for shareholder engagement? Right. I, th I think, you know, um, with all of the regulatory changes that are coming down the pike, it, it, you know, I think a lot of us uh, <laughs> professionals and staff members are, are still kind of learning what, what this means for our respective companies. And so I think a big, um, you know, probably the most important thing is educating the board and co continuously communicating with the board, right? It's not just a, a one-off dialogue that's going to end then and there, but the board is going to have questions. There are going to be uh, issues, interpretations, uh, and implementation questions that we would need to look into and really relaying that back to the board so that they're aware of what we're doing at the company level um, and making sure that the lines of communication really stay open and are continuous. I'm sure they appreciate the help. And just finally, do you have any preference for which award you win, if uh, if you had to pick one? <laughs> well, uh, ideally all of them, but I think, uh, you know, honestly, the governance team of the year would, I think, mean the most um, because it really acknowledges the efforts of the entire team. Um, and so I, I think that that would be a great testament uh, to recognizing what everybody on our team uh, has done to get us here today. Great. Well, best of luck for this evening and have a wonderful time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.